Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I wanted to share seven tips for cleaning your house fast. I have done a lot of cleaning videos and I get asked lots of questions like, do I spend all day cleaning? Or how do you do that in 15 minutes? And what have you. So I wanted to share seven ways to make cleaning a lot faster. So my very first tip is to have a place for everything and put it back in its place. And I know that that can seem easier said than done, but really a lot of the time when our house looks really messy, it's because we haven't put things away, obviously, but sometimes we don't put things away because it's difficult to put them away, we don't know where to put them, our kids don't wanna clean up their toys, my kids are older, but um, your little ones don't want to clean up your toys because putting the stuff away is too complicated. It takes too long. So you want a place for everything and you want to make it very easy to put everything back. So for kids, a simple bin is great. You could even put a picture of cars, for example, or Star Wars guys or whatever on the front of it and that way they can just throw all of those things in that bin or Legos or what have you make it so easy but the same thing applies to adults as well make it really easy to put your makeup back in your drawer or wherever you keep it make it really easy to put your hair tools back make it really easy to put your dirty laundry away. Have a basket right in your closet. It's easy as throwing it on the floor if you just throw it in the basket. So just having a place for everything and cleaning it up as you go makes cleaning go by so much faster because then when you actually get to the cleaning part, the wiping down counters, the mopping, the vacuuming, there isn't a bunch of stuff all over. The next tip is to play music while you're cleaning or have an audiobook or a podcast, but music really gets me going, especially if I'm really tired and I just don't feel like making my bed and cleaning up and starting laundry and all of that. If I play music, it gets me going and I can knock it out quickly. So listen to some upbeat music. You can even create a playlist and just go for it. My next tip is to develop routines. These help immensely and I have shared my cleaning routines on my channel. I had my routines at my old house and routines at my newer house and they changed a little bit but develop a routine that works well for you and that way things don't build up and that way your house is in a total mess and then it takes a lot longer so if you once a week wipe out the bathtub and mop the floors rather than waiting until it gets really dirty it's just going to take you a lot less time if you uh, run your dishwasher every night after dinner, then it's a routine and that way it's not, oh man, the dishwasher is full of clean dishes and I have a whole sink full of dirty dishes and I have to unload them before I can put them in. So if you just have routines, it really helps you to have a clean house, but it takes you a lot less time. My next tip I've talked about before, but it is cleaning your house in the same order every time. So if you have a morning routine, you get up, make your bed, then you might start a load of laundry or clean up your breakfast dishes. After you get ready, you clean up the bathroom. But always doing it in the same order really helps because I know we can get very sidetracked and we'll start cleaning up the bathroom and then we're like, oh, I should put a load of laundry in and then we haven't finished the bathroom. And oh, you start making your bed and then there's something lying on the dresser on the floor and you just get sidetracked. So always doing things in the same order really helps with your daily routines. But also when you're dusting your house, if you always go in the same exact order, I like to start in my entryway, work my way upstairs, 
back down through the bedroom and then I end in the laundry room and throw my microfiber cloth in the laundry basket. I did that at my old house too. My old house was set up a little bit differently, but I still ended in the laundry room and tossed my um, microfiber cloth in the laundry basket. So if you always move around your house in the same order, you don't get sidetracked. And I always try to move my way out of a room. So you start in one corner and work your way around. I'm still getting over this cold. <laughs> it just wants to hang on forever. So I'm hoping that my voice will last through, throughout the rest of this video. My next tip is to set a timer. And I have been talking about this for a long time, but it helps so much. So set a timer in the morning and give yourself 15 minutes. Move quickly, make your bed, start a load of laundry, put the dishes away, straighten up the living room if you need to, clean up the bathroom, and you will be amazed at how much you can get done in 15 minutes. Power hours are popular on YouTube. Set your timer for an hour, have a list of all of the things that you want to get done that day and knock it out. You will be amazed at how much stuff you can get done knowing that that timer is going to beep. The next tip that I have for you is to do one cleaning task at a time. I learned this tip from Fly Lady a long time ago and I've been doing this for 15, 16 years and it helps immensely. You wouldn't think that it would, but try it. So say you're going to clean your entire house and one day you're going to do the dusting, glass and mirrors, vacuum, clean the bathrooms, all of that all in one day. Still just do one task at a time. So you grab whatever product you use to dust your furniture and things and your rag and you go around and dust. Then you get whatever you use for your glass and mirrors and you do all of them throughout the house following the same exact order. And I'm not sure what it is, but you can get it done so much quicker doing it that way than by going room by room. If you like to clean room by room and you're able to knock it down, knock it out quickly, then definitely do that, whatever works for you. But I have found doing it that way really makes cleaning a lot quicker and you don't get sidetracked because you're just going in that room to dust and you're moving your way out. You're just going in that room to vacuum and you're moving your way out instead of cleaning the whole room and then you're like, oh, I should clean my nightstand drawer out or oh, I should clean this drawer out or I should put this away and you just get sidetracked. So doing one cleaning task at a time really helps to make cleaning go by a lot quicker. My last tip for you is to keep it up. So instead of waiting for your house to get to be a big disaster, just like I said about the routines, keep on going with them and that way it doesn't become so overwhelming. It doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. You've seen in some of my speed cleaning videos that I miss the day of dusting and so I double up the next day, but it's still not too overwhelming or I get a little behind on zone cleaning every once in a while and then I'll just double up the next day. Or if we're out of town for part of the week and I get back, I don't try to do all of the zone cleaning in two days. I'll just go to the next week and because I have been keeping up with it. If I go an extra week, it isn't the end of the world and things aren't extremely dirty. So definitely keep up with it. Keep up with your morning routine. Keep up with straightening up the kitchen after dinner because the more you do it, the quicker it will be and you will find that you don't even have to think about it a whole lot. You just get up from dinner, clean up the kitchen, and then you're done. You get up, you make your bed, you throw in a load of laundry, you know, straighten up the bathroom a little bit, and you're done. And so it doesn't become overwhelming if you just keep up with it. I hope you found these tips helpful, and let me know some ways that you have found to make cleaning go a lot quicker. Thanks so much for watching, guys.